Okay, let's now begin crocheting the vines of a hanging plant. Type A, we can see that the hanging plant type A has six vines. Each vine has five to seven balls and one to two flowers. Let's first complete the crocheting of the vines and flowers and finally assemble them together. We are using green yarn and a 2.5 millimeters crochet hook to crochet the vines first. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and use your index finger and middle finger to secure the yarn. Make a slip knot and then chain three. This is the slip knot. This is chain one. Chain two. Chain three. Next, we need to crochet five double crochet stitches into the third loop from the hook. This is the first, second, and third loop from the hook within this stitch we will crochet five double crochet stitches this is the first one when crocheting a double crochet it's best not to pull the yarn too tightly pulling it too tightly can make it difficult to crochet and can cause the yarn to split great the first double crochet is completed mark it with stitch marker Crochet the second double crochet in the same stitch. The third double crochet in the same stitch. The fourth double crochet in the same stitch. The fifth double crochet in the same stitch. After completing the double crochet stitches, let's slightly loosen the loop. Then remove the crochet hook from the loop and remove the stitch marker. Insert the crochet hook into the first stitch where the stitch marker was placed. Insert the hook back into the loop and pull the loop through the first stitch. Great! We have completed the first ball. Next, we should make 9 chain stitches. We can count it when crocheting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine after finishing it we will begin crocheting the second ball we also start from the third chain from hook count from here one two three we will begin crocheting five double crochet stitches at this chain stitch the first double crochet stitch Place a stitch marker on it. The second one. The third one. The fourth one. The fifth one. Then remove the crochet hook from the loop and remove the stitch marker. Insert the crochet hook into the first stitch where the stitch marker was placed and pull through. Great, we have completed the second ball. You will proceed with the same steps to complete the remaining four balls in total. 
You will crochet 6 balls on this vine. See you later! Great! We have completed a vine with 6 balls on it. Cut the yarn, leave a yarn tail and fasten off. Finally, we will hide the loose ends of the first ball. Our first vine is done. We need to make a total of six vines. Please practice on your own to complete the remaining five vines. Enjoy your practice. Welcome back in a few minutes. Now I have completed a total of six vines. One vine has five balls. Four vines have six balls each. And one vine has seven balls. Next, we will crochet flower balls. These flower balls will be attached to the vines. We will be using red colored yarn and a 2.5 millimeters crochet hook. Wrap the yarn around finger. Make a slip knot first. Then make six chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make single crochet stitches at the second chain from hook. We will crochet three single crochet stitches in each chain stitch. Count from here, one, two. From this stitch onwards, crochet three single crochet stitches in each chain stitch. Okay. Let me show you how to make a single crochet. Insert hook into the stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch hole. Yarn over again and pull through two loops at once. We don't have to mark the first stitch here. Then the second single crochet at the same stitch. The third one. Next, we will continue by crocheting three single crochet stitches in the next stitch. One, two, three. Next stitch, three single crochet. One, Two, three. In each subsequent stitch, crochet three single crochet stitches. I will finish it. We can see that during the crochet process, the piece naturally curves and forms the shape of a flower. You can shape the crochet piece into a flower by curling it if the flower shape doesn't form naturally.
Insert the crochet hook into the appropriate stitch on the back of the flower and pull the yarn through to secure and finish it off. Pay attention, everyone! When pulling the yarn through and crocheting, make sure the crochet hook's head is facing downward to easily bring the loop through. All right, leave a tail and cut the yarn. Pull the yarn through to secure it and finish off. That's it, you have completed one flower. Next, I will crochet more flowers, a total of 10 flowers. Please feel free to crochet the flowers on your own. We'll meet again later. Great, now that we have finished crocheting the flowers, Next, you will attach the flowers to the vines. You can attach one to two flowers to each vine as you wish. I will show you how to make it. Thread the yarn through a yarn needle. Insert the yarn needle through the stitch. Then remove the yarn needle. Finally, make a knot here to secure it, just like this. Repeat it again. At last, we hide the yarn tails into flower. Hold the yarn tail. Insert the crochet hook through the center of the flower, grab the yarn tail, and pull it through. Use scissors to cut off any excess yarn tail. Great! You have successfully attached one flower. You can also tie more flowers on longer vines, like this. Next, we will tie the remaining flowers onto the vines. Please complete this step on your own. Now that we've finished crocheting all the components, it's time to assemble them all. First, Let's organize our vines and bring the rope ends together. Then, use a crochet hook to thread through the center of our cover. Grab the yarn tail of the vines and pull it through. You can do this once or multiple times as needed. All right, then adjust it to the right position and tighten the yarn tail. Find the strand of yarn from the lid and pull it tight, closing up the hole we initially left. Then tie the ends of the vines and the end of the lid together. By doing so, we can secure it even better. Take out our stuffing cotton and then fill it into the pot.
Place the lid onto the pot, find the long strand on the lid, and thread it through a sewing needle for stitching. We will stitch together the inner loop of the pod and the stitches of lid. Let me show you. Follow along as I do it a few more times. It's best to stitch through each loop All right, I'll finish stitching the remaining rounds. See you back. All right, it looks like we finished sewing it up. Finally, let's create a locking stitch. Hide the thread into the pot and cut the extra yarn tail. Great! With that, our beautiful hanging basket is complete! Finally, adjust the balance of the hanging basket as needed. Then, tie the three ropes together. All right, and with that, our type of project is complete. If you have any problems during crocheting, please feel free to contact us via email. We will reply to you as soon as we receive it.